Hello friends, today we are going to read Did You Steal My Chestnuts? The author is Trong Mai Dong. The illustrator is Nguyen Tinyok Beach. The translator is Erika Quellar and the publisher is Room to Read. So let's read did you steal my chestnuts? So what are chestnuts? Chestnuts are a type of nut. And who is this? This is a squirrel. And is it his chestnuts that were stolen? And who stole them? Let's see. During springtime, Squirrel found a hollow tree and thought, I can store food here for the winter. This will be a perfect home. Squirrel worked hard from spring to summer and collected many chestnuts. Now his hollow tree was full. So squirrels, what do they eat? They eat fruits, nuts, and those are hard to find in the cold winter time, right? And so what do they do in the winter? They collect food before winter and keep it so that they can eat it during the winter time. And so squirrel found a hollow tree, a tree with a, a hole in it where he can store food for the winter. And he worked really hard from spring to summer. And he collected a lot of chestnuts to eat in the winter. And now his tree was full of chestnuts. He was ready for winter. But when autumn came, Squirrel discovered some of his chestnuts were missing. He was very upset. He decided to climb down the tree to catch the thief. So what do you see here? Here is the hole and squirrel is looking inside. It was full, but now it's not so full. So what happened? So now he is going to go down and see who stole his chestnuts. He met Bird and asked her, did you steal my chestnuts? Bird shook her head. Chirp, chirp, I only eat worms. Chirp, chirp. So here is Bird and Squirrel is asking her, did you steal my chestnuts? Bird says, no, I don't eat chestnuts. I only eat worms. And so it's not the bird. Then Squirrel came across a beehive. He asked, did you steal my chestnuts and hide them in your hive? The bee said in unison, we only store honey and flower pollen. Really? said squirrel. I want to see. So next, who does squirrel find? He finds bees and he asks them, where are my chestnuts? The bees say, hey, we only eat honey and flower pollen. They said it together, all of them in unison. And squirrel doesn't believe them. He says, I want to see what you have. You are going to destroy our hive. The bees said angrily. They started to swarm squirrel. So squirrel ran down the tree. So what do bees do when they get angry? They all get together and they start annoying. They start swarming towards the, uh, the offender, the person who is annoying them. In this case, squirrel. And so they swarmed him and he got scared and he ran down before he got stung by the bees. Next, squirrel bumped into a singing cicada. 
he asked Cicada, did you steal my chestnuts? Cicada rolled his eyes. I only eat resin. Cicada, a large insect. So what does squirrel do next? He asks this insect. It is a cicada. Did you take my chestnuts? And cicada rolled his eyes and said, hey, I don't eat chestnuts. I only eat resin. Squirrel didn't believe Cicada. He pushed her aside to look into her nest. You're so rude, cried Cicada. But there was nothing in her nest after all. So this squirrel is getting a little anxious now. He wants to find his chestnuts. So he doesn't believe Cicada, and so now he is stopped asking. He's pushing the cicada aside to look into her nest and he doesn't find it. Cicada says, you're so rude to do that. Later, squirrel met monkey. Did you steal my chestnuts? Why would I steal your chestnuts? Said monkey. I only eat fruit. You really eat only fruit? No chestnuts at all? Asked squirrel. Stop blaming me, shouted monkey. I only like fruit. Squirrel left frustrated. Next comes the monkey. Monkey also says, look, I only eat fruit. And he shouts at squirrel. Don't blame me. It's your fault. You lost your chestnuts. I don't have them. Then squirrel met a chameleon. Did you steal my chestnuts? Asked squirrel. Chameleon said grumpily. I only eat insects. Did you disguise my chestnuts by changing their color? Chameleon turned green. Only my skin changes colors. So who is this? This is a chameleon. A chameleon is a type of animal that looks a little bit like a lizard but can change colors on their skin. They usually do this to hide better. They turn green with the background of green leaves and green grass. They turn brown with, against branches and so on. And squirrel asks the chameleon and the chameleon is grumpy. He is annoyed and irritated. The chameleon only eats insects. So he doesn't want the squirrel to disturb him. Squirrel was nearly at the bottom of the tree. He was sad. He couldn't figure out who had taken his chestnuts. So after going all around the tree where the cicada was, the monkey was, the chameleon was, the bees were, now he is almost at the bottom of the tree and he still hasn't found who took his chestnuts. Suddenly, he realized exactly what happened. There was a big hole in the tree trunk. The chestnuts had fallen down from squirrel's home and covered up mole's house. So look here what happened. So squirrel was putting chestnuts in a hole in the top and guess what there is a hole in the bottom. So you know what happens if you put things in a bag and there is a hole in the bag right it will just fall through. So this is what has happened there is a hole in the bottom of the tree 
and squirrel's chestnuts had come out from that hole. They actually rolled all the way to this house that belongs to the mole that's here. That's a type of animal like a rat that lives under the ground, in a hole in the ground. And so the chestnuts have buried the mole's house. So squirrel has found his chestnuts now. Squirrel spent the next day fixing the hole. He happily climbed back to his home with his missing chestnuts. So here, what a squirrel doing? He is fixing the hole at the bottom. He is patching up the hole with these pieces of wood. And so it stops more chestnuts from leaking out. And here he is climbing back to his home where he has his chestnut stash. When winter arrived, Squirrel was not worried at all. He was warm. He had his chestnuts. So here is Squirrel in the winter and here are his chestnuts. Look, such a huge pile of chestnuts he has. So now Squirrel is all warm and he is not going to be hungry. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are chestnut, a type of nut, cicada, a type of large insect, chameleon, a type of animal that changes the color of its skin to match the background, mole, a type of animal like a rat that lives in holes in the ground. Unison, together. To swarm, to move as a group. Resin, a type of material that comes from tree sap. Try these questions. What did you learn from this story? Have you seen any of the animals in this story? Did you see them eat? Write about what you saw.